A man's hand starts turning black as coal. Next morning, he's on life support and is told the worst. While the age that we exist in is considered as the peak of human success and survival, a few things will remain irreplaceable. There have been a lot of shortcomings, but somehow we find the solution. For example, deteriorating health and other illness leads us to medicine. The answer is always there, and that's what helps us to survive. Although these medicines are for one person's betterment, a lot of its effect depends on the consumer. Medicine requires accurate testing and identification of a problem. Neglecting the inconsiderable signs sometimes leads to an unexpected result. Kevin Breen, a father of three children living in Michigan, was living a peaceful life. Still soon, it all quickly turned around. This story started on the day after Christmas in 2016, when he felt unwell just as he woke up. He complained of symptoms of flu and took a day off from work, something that's quite rare for him to do. Puzzled, Kevin went for a quick medical checkup. The doctor tested him for bacterial infections and also for a possibility of flu, to which the tests came back negative. So after receiving some instructions from the doctor, Kevin headed back home with a routine medication for pain relief. As the hours went by, Kevin found himself sliding into a very agonizing situation. His condition began to worsen. The next day, he was taken to the emergency room, where he cried out of extreme pain. The doctors, after examining, came up with a horrific discovery. Most of Kevin's organs were filled with pus. As the doctors discussed Kevin's condition, they had to face another big problem lurking in the shadows. They realized that Kevin's condition was critical because his illness was killing his cells. Furthermore, Kevin was going into septic shock because of his health. The doctors, after realizing the horror Kevin was going through, decided to test him again for strep. The results came out positive, and they noticed that the bacterial infection had started from his throat and traveled down to his gut. In an attempt to save Kevin from further damage, the doctors had to flush Kevin's abdomen. Kevin was both confused and terrified because of his condition. Even though the doctors had flushed his abdomen, he still suffered severe pain in his body. Kevin was already daunted. The poor guy had no clue about another shocking news that was creeping its way towards him. The doctors told Kevin that he was one of the only two cases that faced this type of bacterial infection. Although he was merely in the jaws of death, Kevin did not lose hope. He agreed and underwent a procedure. While it was hard for Kevin to deal with himself, his family was in utter disbelief of what had happened. Kevin's wife, Julie, told the news reporters after she learned about his condition, saying it was terrifying. Kevin's family was anxious about his health, but they were not ready to give up on him. They supported him throughout this time. Julie said that she comforted Kevin and that he could cry if he wanted to, but Kevin handled everything with great patience. He stood steadfast and came back from the illness, but the disease had done one final damage to Kevin, which would change his life forever. When Kevin was in septic shock, the doctors gave Kevin some medicines that redirected his blood flow from his limbs to his brain and heart to help keep him alive. They saved Kevin, but slowly his arms and legs began to weaken and turn black due to no nutrition or activity. For his life, the doctors amputated Kevin's both legs below the knees and his left hand entirely and some fingers on his right hand. Kevin was a man without much support left. Kevin saw a lot in a brief time. He lost the ability to walk and do so much of his everyday life. He had to learn everything that he had done all of his life from the beginning with the support of someone else. But his wife was there for him always. Kevin told in an interview, Julie took care of me. She had to do everything. I was like a baby. She gave me so much help and that's part of why I wanted to be more independent, not to make her do so much stuff. But even on a hospital bed, Kevin did not want to feel helpless. He knew that as a father, he had to stay strong to be the pillar his family needed. My response was, how I react to this is how our kids are going to perceive how, you know, we tackle challenges in life, Kevin said. After his treatment, Kevin looked for a way to get himself back on his feet, and fortunately he found a path. The doctors helped Kevin acquire prosthetic legs and a unique water-resistant robotic hand known as Tasca. This robotic hand can assist in 23 different kinds of grips and has enabled Kevin to do many of his house chores. Kevin now lives a happy life with his family, doing what he wishes to do. His new limbs have helped him to do a lot that he wanted to do, like skiing and snowboarding. Kevin is now capable of looking after his family all by himself. 
Even now, his wife praises his strong will to be the man he once was. Watching his unwavering determination to be independent again was so inspiring to both the kids and me. And that is truly an inspiring story of how we need to learn to take control of the situation and not give way to fear. Kevin's will and ambition brought him even closer to his family when he lost his arms and legs. If only we could muster such strength to face our problems and deal with them instead of running away, we would surely become independent and never need another person to look after us. The only person we ever require is ourselves. We're only too afraid to ask for its help.